When people talk about draft busts in any professional sports, Jamarcus Russell is usually at the top of that list. So I decided to put Jamarcus in Madden 24 to give him a second shot at a career deemed suitable for a number one overall pick. Now this won't be easy because instead of the 80 overall that he started out with in Madden 08, he's starting off as just a 63 overall here in Madden 24. But to help Jamarcus have the best possible career, he will get one wheel spin at the start of every season. And season number one starts out with a bang as we land on trade for any receiver in the NFL. And with that, we're gonna go with a trade that makes the most sense in today's NFL, and that's getting Stefan Diggs out of Buffalo. The Raiders in season number one go 11 and six you know what i mean who would who would have thought that i honestly didn't have them going but one of the pluses with it though might be for the simple fact that it's all computer computer handled they were able to retain josh jacobs we got odell beckham in the trade and then you know you'll see the wheel that we spin before every season we were able to go out and get stefan diggs so I'm sure that helped, but you know what I mean? Jamarcus didn't have that craziest, the crazy of a season. All right, so take a look at Jamarcus's first season in the NFL as a rookie. Um, he throws 32 touchdowns, 21 picks. We got to clean those up. He does complete 59% of his passes, throws for 214 a game. He got a lot of ground support. Josh Jacobs ran for seven, 1,600 yards, 15 touchdowns. Zamir White ran for eight touchdowns. Jamarcus added another two on the ground. When it comes to receivers, he's got a little bit older of a receiving core, but Devontae Adams, 72 for 967, 15 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 57 for 917, six touchdowns. Stephon Diggs, uh, 64 catches, 866 yards, three touchdowns. Mike Mayer had five touchdowns through the air as well. And Odell didn't really, uh, you know, do anything for us as our number four receiver. All right, let's take a look at the yearly awards. MVP is going to be Joe Burrow. Coach of the year, Zach Taylor. Take a look at the AFC awards. Uh, we don't get, Jamarcus doesn't get any votes for Offensive Player of the Year. Offensive Rookie of the Year, he finishes number four behind Bethel, Briscoe, and Byram. And when it comes to best quarterback, Joe Burrow gets that as well. But our running back, Josh Jacobs, does win best running back. And that's pretty much all the awards Raiders are going to win on the offensive side of the ball. Max Crosby also is the best D lineman on the defensive side of the ball. But take a look at the AFC. The Raiders won the AFC West, beating out the Chiefs by two games, beating out the Chargers by two games. And beating out the Broncos. Chiefs, Chargers, and Raiders do all clinch a playoff berth, though. Take a look at the playoff bracket, though. We are number four seed, taking on number five, Lamar and the Ravens. The Chiefs are number six, taking on the Bills. And then uh, the Colts are number two, taking on number seven, uh, LA. And the Bengals get a first round by. The Bengals went 15 to two. All right, boys, here we are. Beautiful Allegiant Stadium here in the beautiful Las Vegas, man. Jamarcus Russell's first chance at his new career here on here at home excuse me lamar versus jamarcus man let's get it all right boys let's take a look and see what jamarcus and the raiders can do here in his first playoff appearance 3-3 ball game versus the ravens they finally punch it in the end zone go up 10-3 ravens go ahead and tie jamarcus gets his guys down the field for three more defense gets to stop they go up 10 in the third pretty back and forth nobody scoring here in the fourth the ravens get stopped they finally go down and get three and this is a money drive for jamarcus and this Ravens offense. They are going to pick up the first down here. Uh, officially under two minutes. Two minute warning has hit. Will the Raiders be able to come out here and get the job done and, uh, you know, run the rest of this clock? They get the first time out um, here on picking up three yards on the first down. They're going to lose yards here as the Ravens use another timeout. Let's go ahead and jump into this game and see if Jamarcus and these boys can pick up the necessary yardage. All right. Second and 12 here, two timeouts left for, I mean, excuse me, one timeout left for the Ravens. Jamarcus is going to hand that off to Josh Jacobs. Naturally, that's going to be, damn, they got that play fast as hell. <laughs> that, they lose yards there, third and 13. The Ravens no longer have any timeouts. Let's see if the Raiders actually go to the air here or if they're just going to try to play, play, the, uh, play the clock game. Jamarcus probably is going to hand it off to Josh Jacobs if I had to, if I had to guess. I mean, if it was me coaching, I'll be ultra aggressive, go for the first down and really end it. And Josh Jacobs is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. All right, boys, it is up to the Raiders defense here. 43 seconds left. No timeouts for the Ravens. They do pick up nine yards from a rush from Lamar. Eight seconds left, an eight-yard reception of Mark Andrews. Then they're going to pick up, but they actually pass going to be knocked down by Robert Spillane. And here is the last play of the game. And Jamarcus Russell and the Raiders are going to, are going to narrowly escape victory. Narrowly escape 
defeat here at home versus Lamar and the Ravens. Per usual, man, my dog Lamar, you know, fumbles and wets the bed in the playoffs, and they're unable to get it done. So Jamarcus' playoff debut, 19 for 29, 205, 65 completion percentage, a touchdown and a pick. On the ground, Josh Jacobs gave him 69 yards. Samir Wright, White was able to punch it into the end zone. And take a look at his receivers, Devontae, 5 for 50. Stephon Diggs, 4 for 25 in a touchdown. Jacoby Myers, 4 for 60, no touchdowns, but they were able to get the win. Take a look at the score summary here, man. It was a pretty defensive game for the most part. The Raiders really won the game in the second, and they got shut out in the fourth. If they want to play better in these playoffs, they're going to have to find a way to score throughout the game. All right, boys, here we are in the next round of the playoffs, the divisional round, and we are taking on a 14-3 and Indianapolis Colts team. John Taylor ran for 1,400 yards and 15 touchdowns this year. Their team is pretty legit, but let's see if we can come out here and get the upset. Here we are, man, home of the, of the, uh, the NFL Combine, Lucas Oil Stadium, Anthony Richardson versus Jamarcus Russell, man. This is like a prototype quarterback battle right here. All right, boys, here we go. First drive of the game, the Colts go down to score. Jamarcus gets his guys down to score as well. Raiders defense gets a half a stop, then they go down and get seven. 14 nothing, 14 10, excuse me. They finally go up 21 10, going into the locker room. And the Raiders are going to extend their lead here 28 17. The Colts are not laying down and dying. And the game is 28 25. Let's see if Jamarcus Russell can actually come out here and ice this game. All right, boys. 7-16 left in this ball game. How does Jamarcus Russell handle this clock? Can he get his guys down to score to go up two? Bill play action. He rolls out. He's got a little bit of trouble there. He's going to take off running, and he's going to pick up four yards. All right, so Jamarcus gets a, a big positive yard pickup there on that scramble. 28-25. They are utilizing something that clock. He turns around, hands it off to Josh Jacobs. He falls forward for two. And that's going to make this third down a lot manageable. All right, boys, here we go. This is a big third down for Jamarcus. Even though it's a lot of time left in this game, they want to establish dominance, and he's got Devontae Parker wide open as he finds a soft spot in the zone. All right, first and 10, Jamarcus Russell back to pass. Once again, Coach trusting him a little bit more. He pulls it down, he runs, he's going to fall all down. Just shy of the first down marker, eight yard pickup for Jamarcus. All right, so Jamarcus is not afraid to utilize his legs here in this ball game so far. Another play action to Josh Jacobs. He's facing the wrong way. He was running the whole entire time. He is a big dude, but he's going to fall short from the first down marker once again. The time is getting critical here. This will be a big win on the road. Jamarcus changing some things up at the line of scrimmage. He's back to pass once again. He's got great protection. He's got Devontae Adams over the middle. He's got a first down plus a lot more, and they are in what I believe is field goal range. So Jamarcus Russell playing extremely poised here in his rookie season. He's only like a 62 overall, so it's not like we made him good. We used hindsight 2020, and that's a tough pass over the middle, and that's going to be brought down. So this is a big third down once again here. A field goal doesn't feel as nice. You do go up six, but you don't go up that full seven. Jamarcus back to pass. Quick strike over the middle, and that's going to be a first down. And that is, I believe, Jacoby Mount. No, Stephon Diggs. All right, boys, we are fresh out of the two-minute warning. Second and six here for Jamarcus and the Raiders. Up three. Just don't turn the ball over, and this game can be yours. They do get the first time out from the Colts, and they're right back in the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Jamarcus has been huge on third down so far in this drive. Back to pass once again. They're unable to pick up the blitz and he takes a sack so that timeout is going to be used by the Colts and that is going to bring out Carlson for the field goal he's almost automatic he knocks that through the Raiders do go up six but a touchdown and an extra point could win it here for the Colts did Jamarcus do enough or did he wet the bed that's what we're going to find out Anthony Richardson incomplete pass Anthony Richardson is going to hit Cedric Wilson Jr. for six yards and he's going to pick up a big first down to Michael Pittman Jr. on the outside 51 seconds left here. They're still utilizing that one timeout. Jadavion Clowney gets a sack on Anthony Richardson. Third and 16, incomplete pass. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what this defense can do. All right, boys. Third and 16 here for the Colts. One timeout. 20 seconds left in this ball game. Anthony Richardson thinking a run. He's going to throw to the sideline. He actually throws it away. Not really sure about that one. I would have drove the ball downfield, but that's why I'm not in the NFL. So this is for the game. The Colts almost need a miracle here, but we've seen crazier things happen in the playoffs. Anthony Richardson back to pass, surveying. Max Crosby unable to get the sack. Anthony Richardson doesn't want to run because it's not smart, and he throws it to nobody. And Jamarcus Russell 
is taking this Raiders team to the AFC Championship. All right, guys, so Jamarcus Russell in his rookie season is playing in the AFC Championship game. Already his career is better than what it was in real life, even if he doesn't get to the Super Bowl right here. So the Chiefs were able to beat the 15 and two Bengals, 35, 28. You can't bet against Pat Mahomes. And now can Jamarcus be arguably on the way to being one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time? So let's take a look at Jamarcus' stats in that last game. I forgot to do that. He went for 323, three touchdowns. He did throw two interceptions. Josh Jacobs couldn't really get things going there, but Jamarcus stepped it up big time. Devontae Adams, nine for 137 in a touchdown. Stephon Diggs, eight for 87 in a touchdown. Odell Beckham, three for 39 in a touchdown. So he found his big three. All right, boys, Allegiant Stadium, AFC Championship game. We probably won't see this no time soon in real life. So let's, let's take it in. Let's take it in. Pat Mahomes, Jamarcus Russell, who comes out on top. All right, boys, we're going to go quarter to quarter here in these simulations. Of course, Pat answers first. Jamarcus and those guys get stuffed. Going into the second quarter, it is just a 7-0 ball game. Jamarcus still isn't able to punch it in. Pat Mahomes does. Jamar Jamarcus finally goes down against three, and then the defense holds the Pats to three before they go into the locker room. All right, so Jamarcus hits Josh Jacobs for a 21-yard pickup. Josh Jacobs loses a yard on a rush. 15-yard penalty versus Chris Jones. So now Jamarcus is in plus territory. Let's see exactly what the Raiders can do here with this opportunity because they need a touchdown bad. All right, so Jamarcus in shotgun here. 12-30 in the third quarter. A lot of game left. No need to panic. Let's see what he can get going. Quick hitter there. He's going to hit. That's going to be Stefan Diggs for five. A field goal cannot, will not cut it here. Another quick hitter, and this time Devontae Adams unable to hold on to it. That's Sneed who knocks that loose. So last game, Jamarcus Russell was amazing on third downs. We need a little bit more of that magic here in this ball game at home. He takes a shot. He misses a wide open Devontae Adams. That was six. Oh, no, it was Jacoby Myers. Jacoby Myers beat Connor for six, and Jamarcus overshot him. So that is going to bring out Carlson here. Will he be able to knock this field goal through? The kick is up, and the kick is very much good, and the Raiders are on the board. So the Chiefs are are going downfield. 50-yard penalty versus Davion Clowney. Another penalty, five yards versus Marcus Epps. And then Pat Mahomes, 24-yard strike to uh, Taylor Swift's boyfriend. All right, could, does Jamarcus have what it takes? Now, this game's over. Pat Mahomes is up 31-6 in the fourth quarter. I mean, both teams are on a Cinderella run, but in the end, you can't bet against Pat Mahomes. Everything you do is pretty much uh, null and void until this man chooses he doesn't uh, want to compete anymore. So Andy Reid and the Chiefs are on their way back to a second straight Super Bowl, man. All right, so take a look on paper. Jamarcus threw for more yards, but Pat threw for two touchdowns, no picks. Jamarcus threw for zero touchdowns and two picks. And the run game was pretty much shut down all throughout the playoffs. Josh Jacobs ended up running for a touchdown. J Jamarcus Russell ended up running for a touchdown. But when it came to the receiving game, man, Stephon Diggs, 9 for 105, but insignificant catches. Uh, Michael Mayer, 6 for 48. Devontae Adams, 4 for 73. Josh Jacobs and Jacoby Myers all pitched in. But the, the tie of the uh, uh, the turn of the tie was when Jamarcus Russell missed Jacoby Myers wide open for 6 on that third down. All right, so we do lose to the eventual Super Bowl champions. The Chiefs, 39-18, uh, to 18, beat the breaks off for the Lions. Maybe that would have happened in real life. LeJarius Sneed is going to be the Super Bowl MVP. Our goals are we got to throw for 4,500 in a season, 35 plus touchdowns in a season, less than 11 picks in a season, make three Pro Bowls, win, it, win an MVP, and win a Super Bowl. All right, boys, so Jamarcus comes in season number two at a 68 overall. Still normal depth trait but he's five overall better. And after season one, we were unable to hit any of our goals for the season, but I'm definitely believing that we will eventually hit at least a few of them if we don't finish them all. But before we get into season number two, we have to go to our resim wheel. All right, boys, so with that plus 10 stiff arm, his stiff arm now goes from an 80 to a 90. And how we got a lot of these base stats, I screenshotted his stats from Madden 08, where he was a rookie, and I just put him in a Madden 24. Devontae, Diggs, Odell is gone, but we signed him to like a one-year deal, I think, so it is. Oh, no, we he was signed to a one-year deal, and we traded for him. All right. 
So this is what is this is what the office is looking like. All right, boys. So this season isn't as well. We actually go the exact opposite of what we did last season. Last season we were eleven and six. This season we are six and eleven. All right, but Jamarcus does play better. He throws for less touchdowns, but he throws for more yards, less picks. Uh, 63% completion percentage and more yards per game. QBR went up as well. So we are seeing the maturation of Jamarcus Russell. Josh Jacobs' uh, numbers went down a little bit. He did still rush for 13 touchdowns. And Jamarcus helped out with 74 rushes, 280 yards on the ground as well. Through the air, Stephon Diggs and Devontae Adams went absolutely nuts. 84 for 1,200, eight touchdowns, 79 for 1,100, nine touchdowns. Mayers with four touchdowns, almost 1,000 as well. Mike Mayer, Myers, damn, I'm stupid. And then Mayer uh, had another four touchdowns through the air. And Josh Jacobs pitched, pitched in with two. All right, so Joe Burrow wins back-to-back -back NFL MVPs, and Zach Taylor wins back-to-back -back NFL Coaches of the Year. So when it comes to Offensive Player of the Year, Jamarcus Russell does not finish in the top 10. And when it comes to Best Quarterback, Jamarcus Russell also does not finish in the top 10. But I do feel confident about which our trajectory is headed. All right, boys, here we go. Jamarcus Russell, Season 3. And he is up to a 71 overall. We are up eight overalls in two seasons already. And still just a normal dev trait, but we are improving it. And I expect to see him keep raising the bar. This man just became a god. This man just became a god here in season number three, dog. All throw accuracy will be maxed out. All right, so... We already know what that means. Everything goes up 99. Deep throw accuracy, medium throw accuracy, and short throw accuracy to match a maxed out throw power. So with that, boys, Jamarcus Russell goes from a 71 to a 91. If they don't make the playoffs this season, it's just not meant to be. All right, boys, so the Raiders are going to miss the playoffs still, even with Jamarcus Russell improving so much. Nine and eight, that's going to be just missing the playoffs. And uh, I want to see what's the record that got it, because I think nine and eight got in our first year when we got in. All right, boys, so we, 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 we fall one game short behind the Jets, who go 10 and seven. So season three stats, Jamarcus Russell throws for 42-51, 32 touchdowns, four picks, 68% completion percentage, 250 yards a game. So with that, we actually hit our first goal of the video. One of our goals was to throw for less than 11 picks in a season, and Jamarcus just threw for only four. On the ground, Josh Jacobs runs for 1,400, 15 touchdowns. Jamarcus runs for 305, two touchdowns. And Jamie Gardner uh, runs for five touchdowns. Receiving-wise, Devontae Adams has another big season, 85 for 1,200, 10 touchdowns. Diggs takes a step back. 76, 942, three touchdowns. Jacoby Myers finds the end zone a little bit more, and so does Michael Mayer, Josh Jacobs, and Will Dwyer all pitch in. All right, boys, so Tua Tagovailoa wins the MVP this season, followed by Lamar Jackson and D Dak Prescott. J Jamarcus Russell gets his first top 10 finish in MVP. Coach of the year goes to Zach Taylor once again. AFC Offensive Player of the Year, Jamarcus Russell doesn't finish top 10 at number 10, just below his teammate Josh Jacobs. And then best quarterback goes to Tua. Naturally, he won. He won the MVP. Jamarcus is going to finish top five there. All right, boys. Preseason number four. Jamarcus is up to a 92 overall, and he's naturally up to a star dev trait off of his performance. So it looks like our young boy is really going to be coming into his own. And I fully, fully now it is definitely playoffs or bust. If he doesn't make the playoffs for a third season in a row, it's going to look shaky. All right, boys, so plus 10 speed puts Jamarcus at an 82. And even though we went plus 10 speed, it has no impact on his overall. So season four is in the books. We finished second in the division, but we do make the playoffs as a wild card team. 12 and five, we're taking on 10 and seven, the New England Patriots. All right, boys, so in season number four, Jamarcus takes care of two more goals. One of our goals was to throw for 35 plus touchdowns in the season. He threw for 37 this year. The other one was to throw for 4,500 plus yards. He just threw for 4,700. So what a year though, 46-58, 37 touchdowns, seven picks, 75% completion percentage, 120 QBR, 274 yards a game. On the ground, Jacobs is still giving us work, 1,600 yards, another 15 touchdowns. Jamarcus runs for 310, another six touchdowns on the ground, and we get five from Jamie Garner. 
Gardner receiving wise. Devontae Graham goes nuts. 91, 1400 yards, 13 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 85, 1100 yards, 13 touchdowns. Stephon Diggs, 88 catches, 1000 yards, just three touchdowns. I mean, I guess he had to drop down somewhere. Mike Mayer caught five touchdowns as well. Joe Burrow does get another NFL MVP, his third of the sim. Jamarcus finishes top two. That's tough. I wonder how well Joe Burrow did. Coach of the year goes to Peter Gaffney of the Texans. Offensive player of the year goes to Isaiah Pacheco. Best quarterback, of course, goes to Joe Burrow. And we also finished third there behind Tua Tungvaloa. All right, boys, so we got a snow game here in Foxborough. Last time Jamarcus was in the playoffs, he made it to the AFC Championship. Can we have similar fate when we're going up against a former league MVP in Tua Tagovailoa? All right, boys, what can Jamarcus and this Raiders team do in this playoff game? They go down and punch it in first. They get another touchdown. Finally, Tua goes down the scores. The Raiders are stopped. They get the ball back. It's pretty back and forth. Oh, big stop. They go up 21-7. Down the Pats answer back. They're down eight. Here in the fourth quarter, Jamarcus gets another touchdown of 15. They get three more and this one is all but over 31 20 is going to be your final score here and jamarcus moves on to the divisional round all right so what a qb battle out of these two uh, 20 different 33, 228, 69 percent, two touchdowns, no picks, two or three touchdowns, no picks. So Jamarcus is on the road once again. He's going to be facing Anthony Richardson. He's already one and zero against him in the playoffs. Can we make it happen again? All right, let's see what the Raiders have in store. They give up three early, unable to score in their first drive. They finally go down and punch it in, seven to three. And now the pass go down, excuse me, the Colts go down to score. Jamarcus gets his guys back in the end zone. Here in the third quarter, Jamarcus on the drive. Let's see what he can make shake. First and 10, in plus territory, at the Colts 30. Jamarcus under center. Hands it up, plans to the Josh Jacobs. They take a shot. Mike Mayers inside the 10. They should at least tie this ball game up. All right, first and goal here for the Raiders. Uh, not quite four, four down territory, a lot of game left. Jamarcus back to pass, and he's going to hit Mayer on back-to-back -back plays. And just like that, the Raiders are in the end zone and back on top. All right, boys, will the, Raider, the Raiders defense be able to get a stop? They actually do. Big time sack on Anthony Richardson. Now let's see what Jamarcus Russell and his team could do. They go down to get three, which will put them up a full touchdown. Anthony Richardson is going to try to drive his guys downfield. He does pick up a first down. They're driving. Now it's a third and long. They get another big pickup. 14-yard uh, pass to Michael Pittman. That's second and six. Another first down picked up by Michael Pittman. Second and six. First and goal. Second and goal. No goal line stand. And now we are looking to see if Jamarcus can have a money drive with just 48 seconds. All right, 48 seconds, all his timeouts. Does Jamarcus Russell have the magic to get his guys at least in field goal range? And he's going to hit Devontae Adams over the middle of big pickup early. 42 seconds left in this ball game. Remember, Jamarcus does have... Uh, maxed out accuracy and on all levels and Devontae Adams is just abusing this Colts secondary and I think the Colts I think the Raiders are already in field goal range it's absolutely ridiculous how easy that was they hand that off to Josh Jacobs he's going to fall forward get to the middle of the field Carlson no that's not even Carlson they have a new kicker the kick is up the kick is good and once again Jamarcus Russell was taking his boys to the AFC championship two playoff appearances now he's going to be his second AFC Championship appearance. Jamarcus Russell has ice in his veins. Jamarcus Russell, 18 for 24, 266, 75 completion percentage, two touchdowns. Anthony Richardson played extremely well also. So Jamarcus is going to be going up against CJ Stroud, Will Anderson, and the Houston Texans. All right, boys, NRG Stadium in the beautiful Houston, Texas. Can Jamarcus get over the hump and knock off CJ Stroud? Our boys, AFC Championship, you know what is on the line. A trip to the Super Bowl. C.J. Stroud strikes first. Jamarcus answers back. Answers, answers back. They give up three. Jamarcus gets into the end zone. Stroud gets stopped. Back and forth. Stroud gets three before half. Jamarcus gets seven more. Stroud goes down. He only gets three. Stroud goes down again. He punches it in. Jamarcus punches it in. Hold on. I can't keep up with this shit. <laughs> Jamarcus looking for a game icing drive. Let's jump in. So here's a second and 10 for Jamarcus in plus territory. Again, man, we want more than a field goal here. But Jamarcus is money on third downs. He's back to pass. A lot of pressure. And he takes a terrible sack. 
He loses yards, third and 19. What a defensive pos a defensive stop there. If Jamarcus picks this up, he might go down as one of the, the, the best third and longs ever. He's surveying. He's going to take a shot deep downfield. Here's Devontae Adams. He's going six. The Raiders puts it in. What a throw. All right, boys, so on the very first play, the Raiders defense catches an interception. And now I believe Jamarcus is going to punch this in to win it. He goes up 42-24. The clock hits triple zeros. And Jamarcus Russell and the Raiders are headed to the Super Bowl. So CJ Stroud actually kind of outplayed Jamarcus, not even kind of, but Jamarcus still stood on his own. Stroud threw a huge interception down the stretch. All right, boys, so we are the third of a way done with one of our goals. You know, one of our goals is to make three Pro Bowls. Jamarcus does make his first one with this season, but of course, since he's in the Super Bowl, he won't be playing in the game. This Madden still is crazy. The Atlanta Falcons are back in the Super Bowl. We know what happens last time they were there, but 11 and six, take it on 12 and five. Let's come out here and see if Jamarcus can get it done. All right, boys, let's see how this Super Bowl turns out. Both teams miss on their first drives. The Falcons strike first. That woke up Jamarcus to get half a point. They go down to get six. The Falcons get six here in the third quarter. Jamarcus gets three. He needs to find the end zone here. He's unable to in the fourth quarter. Let's jump to the next change of possession. So the Falcons go down to score. That kicker looks like a woman, but they are uh, they're down eight here. Let's see what Jamarcus could do on this drive. So third and three, can Jamarcus pick this up? They're in an offset eye form. I don't like this formation on third and three, uh, but let's see. It is a play action. Who else would have thought it wasn't? And Mike Mayer drops the pass, and the Raiders are going to be forced to punt. All right, dude, the, the Falcons go down and score again. I don't know if Jamarcus and the boys have enough time to win this game. And it looks like they're going to be forced to punt once again. Third and 10. Whoa, big first down pickup. 12-yard pass to Diggs. Another big pass to Jacoby Myers. Another big pass to Stephon Diggs. Now Jamarcus is really getting his guys down the field here. But we got to get six. We cannot get three. We got to be able to punch it in. Third and 13, fourth and 13. How will they play this play? Down two scores. We got to go for it here. Jamarcus back, match protect. He's surveying. He has all day to throw. Throw on a run. It's picked off in the back of the end zone. AJ Terrell, I believe that is. And that is going to be the ball game. All right, boys, so Jamarcus gets to the Super Bowl, but he's unable to get it done. The Falcons curse is over, and Desmond Ritter is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Who would have thought? So Jamarcus didn't play bad, but Desmond Ritter played out of his mind. Four touchdowns, no interceptions, just one and one for Jamarcus. I'm not really sure what happened. We just couldn't really get anything going. All right, boys, here we are, season number five. Jamarcus is a 94. He's a now a superstar dev trait owner. And at this point, if Jamarcus doesn't make it to the Super Bowl, I feel like it's a failure. It's a bust. He set the bar so high for himself in the first four seasons. We just got to build upon it. Take a look at the offense. It all still looks the same. Devontae Adams is now an 89. Jacoby Myers is an 82. Hopefully, you know what I mean? We could make some moves in the offseason. But before we get ready to send him to the playoffs, let's go ahead and hit that wheel. All right, boys, so we're going to get Jamarcus all the way up to a 99 speed. We save it. The, what does that take him? He was a 94, and he is still a 94. And Jamarcus is still on his rookie deal. He has one year remaining. Uh, he's making 47.6 million. All right, so season number five, we actually have the same record, 12 and five. We're second in, we're second in our division once again, and we will be taking on the Colts this time around early in the wild card round. Jamarcus is 2-0 against them boys so far. Stat-wise, Jamarcus throws for 4,000 yards, 34 touchdowns, just two interceptions, 69% completion percentage. Josh Jacobs continued to do his thing through the uh, on the ground. 18 touchdowns, 1,700 yards. Sharif Faulkner uh, looks like an off-season pickup. Goes crazy. 80 for 9, 96 touchdowns. Devontae, 67 for 9, 81, 9 touchdowns. Jacoby Myers, 75 for 9, 41, 5 touchdowns. Michael Mayer with another 7 touchdowns. And just everybody else filling in, doing the damn thing. At this point, man, we are not here 
four wild card wild card games so we're just gonna go ahead and advance through the round to see if jamarcus can come out here and get the job done and he's actually going to finally lose to anthony richardson and those pesky indianapolis Colts. we get blown out actually 38 22 anthony richardson four touchdowns no picks jamarcus two touchdowns and a pick on the ground people did their thing through the air demario douglas killed us Devonte adams actually went stupid but in the end it just wasn't enough top five finishing mvp top 10 finishing offensive player of the year and top four finish in best quarterback in the afc all right so season number six is here we got two superstar linemen but Devonte adams is no longer here jacoby myers is no longer here we have a very mediocre wide receiver room so we're gonna need some help but jamarcus is a 95 superstar death trait let's hit the wheel and see what upgrades we get this season all right so plus 10 is fucking strength plus 10 strength puts this at an 88 let's see what type of season we have with no receivers all right guys so we will be taking on division foe la chargers and justin herbert again we're not jumping to this game because the bar is the super bowl we're not going to jump into gameplay again until we're in the super bowl all right guys so we do bump off the chargers Let's go ahead and take a look. We actually beat the brakes off from 28-7. We dominated that game. Jamarcus only threw for 181, but he threw for three touchdowns, and I will take it. So now we're in Jamarcus's third AFC Conference Championship game in six seasons. Let's go ahead and advance the week. We win that game 30 to 20. So we're back in the Super Bowl. Jamarcus has a lot of playoff success. He just is yet to win a big game. He dueled Trevor Lawrence. They played pretty much identically. Uh, the difference maker looks like it was Josh Jacobs on the ground and uh, Johnny Thomas. And we already know uh, that Jamarcus Russell did not make a Pro Bowl this season, but we would much rather play in the, the Super Bowl to the goddamn pro bowl i'm just saying all right man let's go super bowl part two 13 to 4 raiders take it on the 14 and three niners this is gonna be a good one man all right boys here we are once again but this is a literal home game for the niners we are in santa clara or wherever the hell they play all right boys here we go jamarcus let's go all right so the niners strike first jamarcus gets three Will Jamarcus be able to punch it in here? He does, finally. Niners come right back and answer the answer again before the end of the half. Now they are up two scores, 20 to 10. We need our defense to get a stop here. Can the Raiders defense get a stop? No, they never can. 8.40, 8.54 left in the Super Bowl. Jamarcus drive down. He scores. Up, down seven. 3.11 left here. We need this defense to get a stop. First down, Brock Purdy is still the quarterback. Chris McCaffrey, 11 yards. Now, it's going to be an incomplete pass. This time, it's going to be a big first down to George Kittle. They still got their core team, but we do stuff Christian McCaffrey at the line. I said do the next play. Second and 12. We stuff him again. That's weird. Third and four. Now, it's time to come out here and see. Uh, well, it looks like they're in field goal range, so I guess it kind of doesn't matter. We need a turnover here, or we need the Niners to miss a field goal. They are utilizing that clock. They're going to hand it off to CMC. And I think this game is more on the Raiders defense than it is uh, Jamarcus, but that is the ball game. And Jamarcus is officially 0-2 in the Super Bowl. God damn. All right, man, so the Niners are Super Bowl champs. Jamarcus is constantly getting to the big game, but he's losing it. He lost to Desmond Ritter and Brock Purdy. Two quarterbacks that objectively he is better than in this universe. Jamarcus Russell, 27 for 40, 259. A touchdown and two picks. He wet the bed out here. Okay, boys, so coming into season number seven, Jamarcus Russell's a 98 overall. One overall away from that 99 club. So the offense still, like we lost Faulkner. I mean, he had a great season, so I guess he went and got paid. And I guess the Davis family is being cheap. Uh, but Jamarcus uh, wholeheartedly needs some help. The O-line is fire. Okay. I had to redo my depth chart. And now I see what the, what the lineup really looks like. I don't know what the hell we had going on. Season seven is a wash. Eight and nine. We missed the playoffs. Finished third in the division. Jamarcus has his worst season yet. 
it was a good season, but it's a bad season. 3,100 yards, 22 touchdowns, four picks. Like, that's decent, but those aren't like, like, ooh, best quarterback in the league numbers. Uh, 1,400 yards on the ground for Josh Jacobs, 10 touchdowns, eight for Johnny Thomas, one for Jamarcus. Um, none of our receivers really went stupid because Jamarcus didn't really sling the ball a lot. So I think we're going to go back to that Buffalo Bills playbook because this one was horrible. Season number eight, 98 overall still, but we are just a star. Dev Trait, 28 years old, just really hitting his prime. Uh, this dude, Tim's became a superstar, uh, Dev. Brandon Jacobs is now no longer. We're going with the Kansas City playbook this season. Curry has been a staple in this O-line, but the O-line has gotten a little bit worse. Except for Bolton. Bolton seems to be pretty good. He look, These two, they look like Fortnite players, but whatever. Um, not really sure how good the defense is going to be. Max Crosby is actually still here killing. You know what I mean? We got a, a, a dope, strong safety. We got a really dope middle linebacker. A Sauce Gardner is on our team. So is Malcolm Humphrey. So hopefully, man, we can come out here and, and make some shape, bro. That's all I'm asking. All right, so the the offensive the offense changing up did what it was supposed to do. Forty four hundred yards passing, forty touchdowns, just four picks, sixty eight percent completion percentage, two fifty eight a game on the ground. You know what I mean? We didn't have a thousand yard rusher, but you know what I mean? We we still made some things shake. Mike Mayer finally gets his thousand yard season. Nineteen receiving touchdowns as a tight end is insane. A thousand yards receiving for Jason Ayrton. He's been hooper for a minute. Connor Timms, he's our best receiver, but he kind of doesn't really make that and shake. And Darnell Jordan, a newcomer on the squad, he he made some noise as well. We finished number two in MVP voting, in MVP voting again, this time behind Lamar Jackson. Last time it was behind Joe Burrow. Coach of the year goes to Zach Taylor. Offensive player of the year goes to Lamar. We finished behind him again. Best quarterback goes to Lamar. We just finished behind Lamar with Jamarcus in every single thing. All right, boys. So one of these seasons I miss when Jamarcus made a Pro Bowl, but we knock off another goal on our list, make three Pro Bowls. So at this point in the season, the only things we are missing on our goal list is winning an MVP and winning the Super Bowl. Wild card week versus the Chargers. Can we get the job done like we normally do? Jamarcus gets it done, winning by three, 20 to 17. Jamarcus in his game, only threw for 196 yards, no touchdowns either. But, you know, Charleston Burgess did his thing on the ground, ultimately getting us a dub. All right, boys, can we advance back to the AFC Conference Championship game? We beat the Jets 21-17. Jamarcus pretty much, man, when he's in the playoffs, at least makes it to the AFC Championship game. He really on his Pat Mahomes art type shit, man. So Jamarcus threw for 174, but he also threw for two touchdowns. On the ground, he didn't run for a touchdown. And through the air, Darnell Jordan was our leading receiver. All right, boys, we've been in AFC Championship games, but I, it's been a while since we've had one here at Allegiant Stadium. Jamarcus versus Lamar. Let's get it. All right, boys, here we go. Come on, Jamarcus. Answer first, baby. We let Lamar answer first. I'm not a fan. We let Lamar answer again. Finally, we're on the board. We missed our extra point. They get 21. It's 21-6. We got to punch it in the end zone here. We're down 28-6. Fourth quarter, 35-6. At home, AFC Championship game. We lost 38-6. Lamar just basically showed us why he won the MVP. So, Jamarcus just wet the bed, bro. So, season number nine. Jamarcus is officially a part of that 99 club. Back in the superstar dev trait. Looking to build upon what we did last year. I mean, can we finally get over the hump, win the MVP, and win the Super Bowl? All right, throw power. We are coming down here. Throw power is still in the 99. So is all of our accuracy. So um, our spin is just a wash for this season. <laughs> All right, boys, so new season. I believe it's season nine. We finished second in the division, 11 and six. We're in the wild card game, going up against Stroud and them boys once again. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Jamarcus goes crazy, 4,400 yards, 34 touchdowns, and three picks. 69% completion percentage, 261 a game, 110 QBR. Darian Wiggins ran for 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns. Michael Mayer has another 1,000-yard yard year receiving. So does Darnell Jordan. Um... 
Connor Sims almost goes for a thousand, but he scores the most touchdowns. So he was our true red zone threat or end zone threat. Jamarcus Russell finally wins his MVP. Check off another thing off of our list. The only thing left to do is to win a Super Bowl. Jamarcus also gets Offensive Player of the Year. Jamarcus also gets Best Quarterback. He completely ran the table on the Offensive Awards. All right, so it's on the all-time quarterback list right now, Jamarcus is 13th. He has two AFC Championships, four yearly awards, uh, plus he's been to the Pro Bowl. If we win a Super Bowl that could really propel us above some of these other guys who are up here with awards but no Super Bowls. So let's see if we can get it done this season. MVP Jamarcus Russell was able to get it done. They beat the Texans 28-21. And Jamarcus actually had himself a game 237, four touchdowns, no picks. But he loses to division rival LA Chargers 30-28. to This seems like it was a heartbreaking loss. And we gave up a last second field goal. Jamarcus, once again, played a damn good game. Him and Justin Herbert were going at it the whole entire game. Jamarcus makes another Pro Bowl this year as well. And it's getting to the point now where I'm simming to the playoffs and I'm simming to the, I'm going to just start simming to the Super Bowl. All right, boys. So Jamarcus at 30 years old, 99 overall, and officially a superstar X Factor. Things can get better. Let's head to the wheel. So plus 10 Excel puts us at an 84, but I really want to see trade for any running back, trade for any receiver, something that's going to help. But with that though, the team is actually becoming something very, very respectable again. Take a look at the defense side of the ball. Max Crosby is still here doing the damn thing. Smoking Dutchess after games at 36 years old. So at the end of season number 10, boys, we do get a first round bye, and we win our division 13 and four. How does Jamarcus bounce back from his MVP season? 4,100 yards, 23 touchdowns, six picks, 69% completion percentage. Uh, he ran for 602 yards and uh, four touchdowns. Addison Cousins, our new tight end. So it looks like in this scheme, it is the KZ play, KC playbook. Our tight end is going to be the one that eats. Darnell Jordan still did his thing. So did Russell Hitchens. So did Connor Timms. I'm just going to show faith, and I'm going to sim to the Super Bowl because that's where I feel like the uh, Raiders are going to be. So I was completely right, boys. Here we are in the Super Bowl. We took on the Dragons. I don't even know who they used to be, but Jamarcus, 163, three touchdowns. Took on Joe Burrow and those pesky Bengals, 209, one touchdown. Joe Burrow threw for three, but it wasn't enough. So in this year's Super Bowl, we will be taking on the MVP, Seth Lynn, and the 11 and 6 Saints. This has to be Jamarcus's year. All right, boys, we are, looks like we're back in Tampa where we played our first ever Super Bowl game. Let's get it. All right, so will Jamarcus play to his true potential in this game? Uh, we get stopped twice already down 14 nothing. I would love to see Jamarcus like score a touchdown. Let's jump into this. All right, Jamarcus is in plus territory here. Down 14 nothing in his third quarter. He continues to like really struggle in these Super Bowl games for whatever reason. He's back to pass. He has time to throw. I'm not sure where he's going. It works out though. 30, 20, 15, 10. Br lose a tackle down inside the 10. That looks like the seven yard line. All right, second and goal. That was a big tackle there by Fitzgerald. But you got to trust in your guy. Jamarcus to let him throw the pill. He's going to throw across his body. He hits his tight end, and they're finally on the board here in the third quarter. Defense can't get a stop, bro. Defense can't get a stop. This nigga Jamarcus Russell just threw a pick. Yo, Jam is Jamarcus Russell, does he secretly play for the Bills? Oh, this shit is over. Jamarcus is coming to the Super Bowl and just wet in the bed, bro. Jamarcus Russell underperforms in the Super Bowl once again, and he's only going to score one time as he loses 30 to 7 to Seth Lynn and the New Orleans Saints. The NFC runs Jamarcus Russell so far in his first 10 years of his career. All right, Jamarcus, 18 for 38, ill, 198, 47% completion percentage, one touchdown, one pick. All right, season 11, we're down to a 97 overall. We lose our uh, beastly running back. O-line gets a little bit shakier, but still not too, too bad. Still a superstar, X-Factor, but we got to hit that wheel. 
We are still. Oh no, we actually aren't 99 on all of those, but we are 99 on deep accuracy. So that's unfortunate. So we go 11 and six. We we finished second in the division. Nationally, we probably lost the head to head head to head to the Chiefs. Jamarcus throws for under 4,000, but four, 34 touchdowns, just three picks, 73% completion percentage. James Peters ran for a uh, thousand. Receiving wise, Connor Timms went for a thousand, eight touchdowns, 928 for Darnell Jordan, six touchdowns. Hitchens nine touchdowns. Cousins eight touchdowns. Jamarcus finishes top three in the MVP voting. Uh, top three in Offensive Player of the Year, and then right behind Joe Burrow for Quarterback of the Year. But again, boys, you know what we're here for. We are no longer caring about anything before the playoff, before the Super Bowl. Let's go ahead and send right to the big game. All right, boys. So we all we actually lose in the wild card round. Anthony Richardson and the Colts get us for once. Jam Jamarcus played decently, but them damn interceptions, those playoff interceptions, come back to haunt us uh, wholeheartedly. Time to move on to season number twelve. All right, boys, another season, another dollar. That team looks amazing. Jamarcus is a 97. He's still a superstar X Factor. Let's hit the wheel and see how much better we can get. All right, so y'all about to see how I do this. It's kind of cheating, but bitch, it is what it is. What about Brian Mercado? Star death trait? Yeah. All right, Brian Mercado from the Ravens. All right, boys, another great season for us. 14 and three. Our team is at 89 on offense, 87 defense, 87 overall. Jamarcus back in the 4,000 club, 29 touchdowns, just one interception. That's insane. 73% completion percentage, 1,100 yards on the ground, six touchdowns on the ground for Jamarcus, 2,000 yard receivers. You know what time it is. Jamarcus doesn't win MVP number two. It's not a goal, but I thought for sure he's going to get it. But Gerald Simmons finally wins coach of the year. Jamarcus does win offensive player of the year, though. And he finishes top three and best quarterback. All right, so this time, even with the first round buys of number one seed, we lose to the seven seeded Browns, who are in the Super Bowl, by the way. But Lamar, Jam but Jamarcus is starting to really grind my gears. But he didn't play bad. He didn't throw touchdowns. Really, he didn't throw picks. Getting shut out in the third quarter at home cannot happen. So season 13, I believe, boys, and we are a 96 superstar death trait. Our old line, we did lose, you know, a, a key, a key a contributor. He might have retired. I would think it was Curry, but let's hit the wheel and see if we can get something else. Hey, so another year, boys, we get another first round by 14 and three. Jamarcus has himself a year, an amazing year. 4,200 yards, 36 touchdowns, and only one interception, 74% completion percentage. James Peters goes for 1,000. Russ, Jamarcus runs for 405. Uh, we get a, almost 2,000 yard receivers, but Darnell Jordan in, in uh, year six did his thing, 10 touchdowns. The other touchdowns were spread around. Jamarcus wins MVP number two. Let's go. He also wins Offensive Player of the Year, naturally. And he also wins Best Quarterback. Jamarcus is bringing in every accolade except for Super Bowl champion. Here we go. We got the nine and eight Jets here in our first game. Do not get upset. We got upset 31-26. You worked so hard the whole season to get a bye to wet the bed. And Jamarcus went off. Jamarcus went off. This is solely on our on our defense. That's not the first time that's been the case, but our defense could have get a stop when we needed them to. And for that, we're going home. All right, Jamarcus Russell, year 14, 96 overall, superstar death trait. Will the will give us something we need? Take a look at this offense, though, on paper. We got a good squad. Plus five awareness, bro. I said Excel. All right, plus five awareness. That puts us at a 96. Yay. All right, boys. So season 14, we, after getting all those buys, we don't even make the playoffs at eight and nine. Jamarcus has a great year. So a lot of this we can't put on Jamarcus because he's playing well and doing what it is he needs to do. 2,000 yard receivers, almost three with double digit touchdowns with uh, just under 1,000. This has got to be our defense, bro. Our defense, honestly, ha like we got the ninth best offense in the league, but we got the 29th best defense. All right. It's making sense. It's coming together. 
What R. Kelly said, use your common sense. We fit top two finishing MVP voting. Uh, AFC Offensive Player of the Year, we get that. AFC Quarterback of the Year, we get that as well. This dude from the Saints, not only has did he beat us in the Super Bowl, this is like his third time beating us in MVP. So clearly, Jamarcus's best days are probably behind him going into year 15 after this season. He's a top five quarterback of all time without a Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> um, this is all active, guys. Pat Mahomes has six Super Bowls at this point, seven AFC championships, 15 awards. Joe Burrow has the one Super Bowl. Lamar has three Super Bowls, uh, 25 awards. Seth Lynn is over us because he has a Super Bowl, 16 awards. And then you got Jamarcus, three AFC championships, 15 awards. I ain't gonna lie, being 0-3 in the Super Bowl is crazy. All right, boys, so this is where things are gonna get shaky. Season number 15, you know what I mean? We're down to a 95. Still a very good quarterback. 35 years old. The window is shrinking tremendously. This is where we really need the will to be kind to us so we can get better out this John. That awareness put us up to a 96. All right, boys, we are back in the playoffs and we won the division. Can we get back-to-back -back MVPs? It might be possible. Like, the lack of interceptions Jamarcus has been throwing is insane. Another 1,000-yard rusher, another 1,000-yard receiver, two two guys with double-digit receiving touchdowns. Oh, who the hell is Brandon Knowles still in my MVP, man? Brandon Knowles, you got to see me. We win the Offensive Player of the Year, and he beats us off our best quarterback, too. Who mans is this, bro? All right, the Browns beat us one year in the divisional round. Can we get them out of here in the wild card round? Can we get back to the goddamn Super Bowl, bro? Nope, 15-12. What type of score, Jamarcus? You put up 12 points, my G? Our offense is so electric all year. Y'all getting the playoffs, so don't know what the hell. Oh, my God. All right, boys, so here in season 16, Jamarcus is only a 92. I think our window is officially shut, but we still got some ballers, man. Let's see if we can change the scheme up for this season and get something that fits us a little bit better. Multiple power run. Uh, I mean, the, the Bills playbook seems to be working. I kind of don't want to get rid of it, but I'm going to see. Last time we did that, he threw for like 2,000 yards. That shit pissed me off. But this is the Chargers playbook. Justin Herbert runs it, so we, we should be good. Short accuracy plus 10. That's going to get us all the way up to a 99. Yes, slow. All right, so that short accuracy boost gets us up to a 95. Jamarcus has another... Holy shit. Jamarcus just had to set a record. 3,800 yards, 26 touchdowns, no interceptions. He's got to be the only starting quarterback in history to not throw an, an interception. That's insane. Perfect on the season. We got 1,300-yard rusher with 16 touchdowns. Nobody had 1,000 yards this year, but the ball was spread around beautifully. That got to be MVP off no picks alone. They give it to Seth Flynn. We finished top four. That's insane. Okay. AFC, we get Offensive Player of the Year. We got to get Quarterback of the Year. So we racking them up. Can't get past it. Damn, Seth Lynn got two rings now. Kill him, bro. All right, so we win our wild card game against the, the Texans. I don't even care about the stats because we got to win the big one, bro. We got to win the big one. We win 18-14 versus the Mustangs or whatever they are. Now we got this Toronto team that got that one quarterback that beat us. Look how terrible our defense is, but look how amazing our offense is. Let's go ahead and sim to the Super Bowl, please. We didn't make it. We lost to the Dragons. 20 to 17. Brandon knows we threw not a single touchdown, bro. All right, guys. So in season 17, we are on an ex we are on a relocation team, the Tomahawks. Um, 893 overall. You know what I mean? Uh, we definitely are in need of the wheel spin. Let's take a look at this roster. Decent roster. It looks like they just needed some veteran leadership. But let's see if we can even add to what we got going on right here. Plus 10 play action puts us at a 95 play action. Whoop de damn do. All right, boys. So the Lumberjacks, I call them the Tomahawks. Uh, they go 7 and 10. So I forgot to change the playbook and scheme. We only threw for 3,400 yards, 26 touchdowns, five picks. Uh, running backs didn't do nothing, but we did score a good amount of touchdowns. No 1,000-yard receivers, but Freeman got the most touchdowns. Season 18, 38 years old, 89 overall. We got to hit the wheel. 
to see what upgrade we get. We need a big one at this at this at this stage, man. Plus 10 deep accuracy. All right, so deep throw accuracy. That would get us to a 99, which to get us above 90 as a player overall. We are now 91. We're going to change our scheme. We're going to change our playbook because we know what playbook we don't want our MVPs with. Well, we won one with the LA Chargers, but we're going back to Buffalo and we'll stay with the West Coast run zone run scheme. But we got to you got to you got to let Jamarcus air the thing out, man. All right, boys. So the Thunderbirds go five and 12. So post Raiders, two straight years, we have missed the playoffs with these random uh, relocated teams. And Jamarcus, he's an old man, bro. 3,800 yards, 21 touchdowns, eight picks, 63% completion percentage. No, no, no help for the running backs. We do get a thousand yard receiver out of DJ Anderson, but you know what I mean? Nothing crazy. All right, boys. Season number 19, 87 overall on the Bison, the Oklahoma City Bison, I believe it is. Our team has a 99 overall running back and an 86 overall tight end. I'm going to listen to one of my mods here, and we are going to go with the Kansas City playbook because it heavily features the tight end. This got to be good enough for Tory Miller. Hey, bring him to the squad. All right, boys. We are back, baby. We are back. In the playoffs, courtesy of Jamarcus Russell. Let's go. Here in season number 19, 4,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, just five interceptions, 71% completion percentage, 262 a game, 1,400 yard rusher with 21 touchdowns, 2,000 yard receivers, 10 touchdowns, seven touchdowns, 833 for four, 804 for six. Did we win an MVP here in year number 19? Fuck no, we did not. Cause Logan McDonald, McDaniel, we finished top four, got it. What about A, what about, are we in AFC or NFC? I have no clue. All right, so we don't win offensive player of the year and we certainly aren't gonna win quarterback of the year. Let's see if we can beat the Eagles. Jamarcus gets a big dub 24 to seven. Now we're going up against Jeff Tatum, another one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Can we get to an NFC championship game for the first time in our career? We lose 14-10. Jamarcus, this has probably got to be his last shot at a Super Bowl here in year number 19. And he didn't play terribly. Once again, his defense, can't even really put this on the defense. He only put up 10 points. It was just a hard fall game. 325 yards of total offense. Just couldn't punch it in. No turnovers or nothing. Just could not score. So since I think this is last year, we're going to go over his career stats. 76,171 yards. Uh, 578 touchdowns to just 97 picks. Insane. 68% completion percentage. 235 yards a game. 108.6 QBR rating. Rushing 8,000 yards. Well, 7,500 yards. 60 touchdowns. Just one fumble. Take a look at his awards, man. The Raiders took him in the first round. 10 Pro Bowl appearances. Uh, led the league in passing one time. 20, 2032 most valuable player. Offensive player of the year. Best quarterback. 2035 offensive player of the year. 2036 most valuable player. 2036 best quarterback or offensive player of the year. 2037 offensive player of the year. Best quarterback. 2038 offensive player of the year. 2039 offensive player of the year. 2039 best quarterback. The most passing yards he ever had in the season was 2027 with almost 4,700. Uh, he also threw for 37 touchdowns and seven picks. Most most passes, touchdowns in the season was 40. He only threw four picks that season. The least amount of picks he threw in the season was zero. He threw for one once. He threw for two a bunch of times and three a bunch of times. Oh, this doesn't have all his years because his rookie year, he threw 21 picks. So that's the most he threw there. When it comes to passing yards in the career, he is top four behind Brady, Mahomes, and Breeze. When it comes to passing touchdowns, he's top four behind Mahomes, Brady, and Burrow. When it comes to passing yards in the season, he doesn't make the top list. Passing touchdowns in the season, when it's 40, he doesn't make the top list. And when it comes to game stats, passing yards in the game, no. Passing touchdowns in the game, also no. But he had an amazing career. When it comes to best quarterbacks of all time, since it looks like we're not going to win a, a, a Super Bowl, 
uh, for the most part, bro, uh, Jamarcus Russell is going to be remembered as the top five quarterback of all time. A lot of these other guys have a lot of work to do if they want to catch up with this top five group. And, you know, I think when it's all said and done, Jamarcus is going to be a Hall of Famer. Oh, Lam so Jamarcus in year 20, what I think is going to be his last season is going to the Baltimore Ravens. All uh, right, we know we ain't doing shit with this season, bro. Let's just go on ahead and get her out of the way. All right, man. So, in Marcus's last season, the 20th season, the Ravens go 6-11. We didn't really expect much from them boys. Jamarcus threw for... He didn't tarnish his legacy here. 3,300 yards, 19 touchdowns, 13 picks, 65% completion percentage. He ran for 538 and 6 touchdowns. No 1,000-yard receivers. He would have finished his career with less than 100 picks in his lifetime if he would have retired last season. So we already went over his stats a little bit, man, and never made it back to the AFC Championship. Well, he made it back, but he lost. Never made it back to the Super Bowl 0-3. 22 yearly awards. I mean, the dude is a bona fide Hall of Famer. All right, boys, so as expected, it has finally come to an end. Jamarcus has been elected into Canton, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He did so much, yet he couldn't get done with the one thing, and that was winning a Super Bowl. He went 0-3 in Super Bowls, man. People in chat were calling him regular season poppy. They said he was a regular season guy, but when it all mattered the most, he couldn't get the job done. But you let me know down in the comment section below, did we successfully resim and revitalize Jamarcus Russell's NFL career.